Hello guys, welcome to another video. Today I'll be talking about why Ripple XRP is going to hit $26 by the end of 2018 or early 2019. For those of you who are unaware, Ripple is another cryptocurrency much like Bitcoin, Litecoin and Ethereum which was first released back in 2012 and ever since it has been growing slowly but everything changed in 2017. At the start of 2017, the price of Ripple was $0.0062 and now at the end of 2017, it is worth $1.04. It might not seem a lot, but that's over 16,000% increase in Ripple's worth. So what are we predicting for next year? Well, I'm gonna tell you it's gonna be $26 and here are my reasons why. Number one, scalability, fast transactions and usability. Ripple was a cryptocurrency that Bitcoin was envisioned to be. Sounds like a bold statement, but hear me out. All of these cryptocurrencies have one thing in common, that they want to be used in real life, in real world. But because of the way they are built, it's not really possible. Let's look at Bitcoin and Ethereum. Bitcoin can handle only three to six transfers per second, Ethereum at 15. But Ripple, on the other hand, can handle 1,500. That's really a lot. It pretty much compares to what Visa can do right now. Now, let's not forget fast payments, how important they are. Currently, banks take around three to five business days to send money to an international account. When we compare that, that to the crypto world, Bitcoin takes one hour, Ethereum takes four minutes, and Ripple takes only four seconds. So you can see how fast it is and how much more usable it is compared to the other cryptocurrencies. And that's what's going to be so important in the future. At number two, we have financial institutions. No matter how popular a cryptocurrency gets, but if it's not being used by the major banks in the world, it's not really going to succeed. But Ripple, on the other hand, already has over a hundred major global banks under its name. Just to name a few, we have Bank of America, Santander from Spain, SoftBank from Japan, Standard Chartered from UK, and many more. So why are banks joining Ripple? Well, it saves them a lot. In fact, it saves them over 60% in transaction cost. And because of this, a lot of banks are going to join this Ripple bandwagon. And the more banks join, the higher the price of Ripple is going to be. Number three, control distribution. A lot of people were worried with the very large supply of Ripple. So, the creators of Ripple decided to take 55 billion coins off the market and put them in an escrow, so the investors would not fear that the market would become saturated. Shortly after that, the price of Ripple went really high. And after that, and that has only happened this month in December 2017. After doing that, the price went high and they announced that every month, for the next 55 months, they would release 1 billion Ripple. And so you can imagine now that we're going to have a steady supply of Ripple. So the volatility would not be a lot, which a lot of investors are looking to. The fourth reason is Coinbase. A lot of you already know about it and a lot of you are already using it. Coinbase has more than 14 million users and it keeps on going up by 100,000 each day. Coinbase announced a couple of months back that they would launch Ripple on their platform in 2018. And as you can expect, once Ripple hits Coinbase, the price of Coin Ripple is going to skyrocket, just like how it, how it did with the Bitcoin Cash. Well, those were my four reasons why Ripple is going to hit $26 in 2018. Now, nobody exactly knows what the exact price would be by the end of next year. It's all practically impossible to say that. But that is what my conservative estimate says it. If I have to look uh, from the past trend, and as, as I mentioned earlier in the video, that, in, that Ripple increased by 16,000%. Now to reach $26, it has to only increase by 20, 2,600%. Now, it, now I'm only saying only 2,600%, but it does seem feasible that it will hit the $26 mark, and if not, even higher than that. As always, invest wisely and only invest what you can afford to lose because in the cryptocurrency world, you can either make a lot of money or lose a lot of money. <clears throat> well, thanks for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time.